Thank you. Um, morning after the night before, how do you, how do you reflect on last night's game? Well, I'm tired, I know that. Um, no, it was good. Um, even better this morning. Obviously, there was a lot of excitement last night. Um, but yeah, you wake up this morning, late night. Uh, players, obviously, in good form, as you'd expect. Um, staff, we had a good night. And uh, I suppose we now look forward to the draw. And uh, yeah, and just recover today. Yeah, yeah, well, I think so, yeah. And, and rightly so. Obviously, it's Monday. A lot of obviously lads won't be playing till the weekend. And um, you have to you have to enjoy these moments, and um, and the staff we had a good night, and as I said, it's even better this morning. You know, when you wake up and say, yeah, you know, the players got the job done. Um, tough group, um, tough night last night, uh, two 0 but uh, you know we know the game could have changed very easily. Um, but we hung in there. The players were fantastic. Setbacks, uh, disappointments in the, the campaign. But in sport, you've got to hang in there, and that's what the players have done. And um, uh, as I said, the players, the players are fantastic. To, did, did the country proud? With Germany, Poland, Georgia, Scotland in the group, then you get Bosnia in the first, who are 22 places above you in the FIFA rankings. Yeah. Did, uh, did, did the team exceed your expectations? Um, in oh, I probably wouldn't go that far. And whatever you say about seedings and rankings, you can't get too bogged down by that. Uh, but we knew when the draw was made, obviously we were over there, myself and the manager, and they thought, listen, this would be hard going. Um, obviously, we were trying to get to know the players, we, two or three lads, you know, coming towards the end of their careers. Injuries, to be fair, that's the same for every team. Um, but no, when we got to work with the group, we thought, we, we knew they were a good, honest bunch, and we knew they'd have a go, and that always gives you a chance. Even, um, even after the disappointment of Scotland at home, I thought we played not bad. Um, I never felt we were out of the group, but we just obviously needed Scotland to slip up, which they did. But of course, then you've got to make the most of that, and which the players did. And um, and again, last night, you're, 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 again, you're, you're always selfish. You're always looking for more quality and um, uh, better players sometimes. But as I said, the fact is they, they kept at it, their work rate. And then before the, the game last night, um, looking at the group of players, you just felt, listen, there's, there's plenty of fight in this team. And, and that always gives you a chance. Well, you spoke in the past about when you were a player and you didn't tend to dwell too much on your successes. You always started looking ahead to, to the next challenge pretty quickly. Have you been saying to players to, to savour this moment or, or how quickly we start looking forward? No, well, obviously last night it was about enjoyment and even this morning, um, just bumping into one or two of the lads there. And uh, yeah, you do have to enjoy the moment. You know, it's not as if we qualify for every tournament. Um, and enjoy for the next one or two days, but of course they have to switch on. Or they're professionals. They've got games coming up at the weekend, um, and when we get together in a couple of months, we'll obviously <laughs> we'll tell them to refocus. And we probably have to do that better when the draw is made, and we know who we're playing in the summer. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the night. Uh, as I said, I I knew how to enjoy myself as a player. You know, when you, when you have a bit of success or you get you have highs, make the most of it because football and sport is it's about a lot of lows. But when you get the highs, uh, enjoy it and. Uh, you know, the crack in the dressing room last night, as you've probably seen, uh, with the staff, the players. That um, was, honestly, fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant for everyone. When you sat down with uh, Mark at the start of the campaign and you spoke about what you wanted to instill in the squad over the course of the, the year and a half or so, did you feel you'd achieved those things over the time? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, I think obviously, the manager deserves great credit as well. Um, yeah, I think he has achieved that. You know, w w whatever we have, um, whatever we're short in terms of quality and uh, maybe options, we uh, we make up for it again. Work rate, desire, uh, hunger. Um, last night, in a, I didn't think for one minute we were going to get beaten. Obviously, there's, there's moments you're nervous, of course, but I just thought, you know, the, the lads are up for this, particularly with the positive result on Friday. The crowd were fantastic last night. I think Irish football needed it. You know, it's been a difficult, you know, few years. Um, so that's why it was a big boost for everyone. But the manager, you know, for, for, for the way I suppose he was uh, written off after one or two of the Scot after the Scotland games, you know, he's he's proved what a great manager he is. Ah, brilliant! It was everything I'd hoped it'd be from day one. You know, um, to learn, to um, 
to work under him. I know, obviously, when I got when he when he first spoke to me, I never hesitated, and it's been justified. Really enjoyed it. Same with all the other staff: Seamus McDonough, Steve Guppy, Steve Walford, all the other guys in the background. It's it's worked out a treat. No, obviously, if we didn't um, if we didn't get the result last night, uh, you know, it might be a slightly different way of looking at it. But um, no, it's been everything I hoped. It's been obviously learning a lot from him, um, and. Uh, I, I said it last night. I've, I've really not been doing too much. I've just been in the background and uh, enjoyed working with the players. Obviously, a little bit more hands-on now with the group of players, which I've enjoyed. Uh, I've, I've uh, probably even surprised myself at that, uh, having previously been a manager. So um, no, it's worked out well. You know, we're delighted. He also said he didn't bear the dream about going to France himself. Did that put the qualifiers into play? Yeah, I think so. You know, I'm uh, probably the same mindset as Martin. You know, I just think. Uh, We've been in the game far too long to start looking ahead and thinking we've already achieved something because again football has a habit of kicking in the teeth, you know. So um, now all along, even up to last, uh, until the whistle went really at the end, even at two 0 we're thinking if they get one back, you know, it's we'll be under the cosh for the last few minutes. And they're big, strong boys putting lots of balls into a box. Had a little bit of luck as you'd hope, um, but until the whistle went, you just never, you, you never got too carried away because as I said. Football is um, it can uh, it can kick you where it hurts. Rory, um, there was only four players starting last night that were in the team that started against Georgia in the first game. What's that say about both the job the management has done and the contribution from the whole squad? Well, it's, it's, again, it's all the players. Again, you obviously John Walters grabbed the headlines last night, but there was lads there. You, you kind of felt sorry for the lads who weren't there. You know, Shea and Quinn and his other. I hope I'm not missing out one or two other lads. Um, lads who just missed out. And there's been there's been lots of changes. And obviously when we took the job. Um, we were getting to know the group of players and obviously friendlies can be difficult um, so the fact we've had to chop and change and, and again but all the credit then eventually goes back to the players for that you know even the last few days missing you know missing Shane and Shea the important players in the dressing room Shea given what they bring to the dressing room but the other lads yeah. stepped up to it stepped up to the plate that's why you, that's why you're always asking the players you know step up to the plate no problem making mistakes no, no, no problem on that but just be brave, and show a bit of courage, and they've done that in the last two games when I don't know, they were pressure games, you know. And, and, and Bosnia are decent, I tell you, they've got some very, very good players, and they're a big, strong team. But we had the will and the desire to get the right results. But yeah, the chopping and changing, and that, that'll probably go on for the next few months, you know. There is places up for grabs. The beauty of us qualifying now, is, I suppose, would have made doors if we'd had in terms of the friendlies coming up, we can give lads a go now, you know, lads in the background or. You know, um, almost fringe players at the moment, but they'll get a chance. And this place is up for grabs in the summer, no doubt. And it's up to these lads to take it. For the lads who are playing regularly, there's a big then. You look at the lads who haven't been playing, but it's been McGeady's, the Gibsons, Piercy. The, like these lads now need to go and get some games under their belt, because before you know, we'll be over there. You know, to think things happen very quickly. So big challenge to lots of the players now. Don't 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 relax. Enjoy it, but go to the Euros and have an impact, which. No doubt it'll be difficult because I'm guessing the seedings will prove a very difficult draw for us. I was going to ask you about that. What, what would be a measure of success, do you think? Oh, well, listen, God knows. You know, I let's play it by year. Let's let's see the draw first and have a look at it that, that way. But again, um, yeah, we 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 crossed that bridge when we get to it. I mean, you're going to be in the lowest pot. You're in pot four, which means look, worst case scenario, we've been through all the ramifications. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Germany, Italy, Czech Republic. Yeah, well, Germany obviously won't be a problem. We 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 tend to take care of them. It's just <coughs> Spain and all the rest of them. No, we'll um, no, we'll have a look at that when it comes around. You know, it's it's it's, it's, the, it's the morning after the big night. It give me a chance to clear my head, and we can have that conversation in a few months. I wonder whether you just got to maybe walk through the middle of those celebrations, have a have a, a, a taste of, of reality as well, and say, look, we've achieved something massive. We've got there, but it's going to be tough when we get there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full of good news, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, but that's that's the, the 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 nature of the game and the challenge we face because, you know, the um, the pool of players we have is not the biggest. So yeah, but again, we'll have a look at that, and um, I'm not sure many people would expect us to get out of this group. So if we get a tough one, and which we we'll, we will in the summer, we have to hopefully try and surprise one or two people. And um, as I said, we won't be we won't be short on hunger and desire and determination and you know with the players and obviously the manager we have hopefully we give every team we play a, a good game Does it say something about this younger group of players maybe coming of age in this campaign you didn't have Robbie Dean John O'Shea Shea Given last night 
Yeah, but don't be writing these boys off. These boys have all contributed. They've played in a lot of the, the bigger games early in the group, and uh, and they won't be giving up their places easily. Let me tell you. And, and and even when they're not in the starting eleven, it's what they bring to the dressing room, the training pitch. Um, Robbie King's been uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Shades, he pushing to get back involved last night. Shades. You look at Shades International Credit, who's come back at the start of the campaign. These players deserve great credit. And they, they, listen, no, you, you, I don't want to be writing them off because I know for a fact they, they'll be believing they can get in that starting 11 in France. So um, yeah, they've all contributed. And then obviously some of the younger players. But they're very lucky the younger players coming through with Ireland because there is the senior players are a great example. Well, there was phenomenal sense of joy around the country last night after the, after the results. Is there a sense that this team has sort of reconnected? With the, with the nation, yeah, may, maybe so. I, mean, I, I think we needed that last night. I, you know, you look back at some of the early games. The Germany game, I think, was a big turning point. Obviously, um, there's been lots of changes in the background even since we've come on board. It might it might seem small to this, you know, the media, but change of training ground, change of hotels, you know, di different routines for the players, and they've adapted well. Obviously, injury suspensions, the whole lot, um, and they've all um, they've all adapted pretty well and, and accepted the challenge, even with the disappointments. Um, again, particularly with the Scotland game, because I think on paper everybody thought Germany would be fair if it's not up Poland and it would be between ourselves and Scotland. So they automatically thought if you can't take certainly four points off them, we'd be struggling. That's what we did, but we managed to make up for it against Germany. Um, but yeah, all the younger players, uh, I keep saying Seamus Coleman's young, but Seamus is nearly the same age as me. But these boys, yeah, they're all uh, Robbie Brady's, you know, I'm trying to think who else. They've all, Clark, he's come back into the scene. You know, outstanding last night. The goalkeeper deserves great credit. I thought he was a real calm and presence in the last week or two. His personality shone true. Um, I know Seamus worries about he's a bit too laid back, but I don't mind that. I um, no, again, I could sit there all day. And all the players, I go through every one of them. The lads who've been good and who started, the, the fringe players, the senior players, the young boys. Um, and I can't praise them enough. They're brilliant to work with. Will it make it extra special that England and Wales and Northern Ireland as well? Um, well, it depends on the draw. It, uh, does it? No, I've not really thought about that, to be honest with you. No. Again, if we if we get to play them in the, the competition, we'll have a look at it. But um, no, I'm not, not, not really worried too much about the others. We're always going to try and get back into club management at some stage. How, how does this success affect your thinking in that regard? Would you um, like to stay on with Ireland? I don't know. I'm going to obviously meet Martin over the next few weeks. We'll have a look. I'm not sure about contract situation. That was, that was the last thing in our minds. Martin knows I've obviously got, still got that ambition to get back into it. I'm, new, I'm not really one for networking or applying for jobs, uh, but I'm enjoying my role here. Um, obviously, certainly want to stay on for the Euros and, and we play it by year. But as I said, I'm planning to meet the manager in the next few weeks to just have a chat. And again, to be fair, to see where he stands and all the other staff. But I think Matt knows that I've got that ambition to get to get back in the ring, you know. But I'm also loving my role with Ireland. I, again, I've always said I've been very, very lucky. But if something attractive comes up in, in the club management well, sense, it'll be a dilemma for you. Stuff has come up, but I've, I've always been focused on the job. Um, and we'll have a look at that again in the next few months, you know. But as I said, I'm not one for, um, you know, um, applying for jobs or ringing people. Um, but will this get me back in the window I, I don't know as I said uh, I'm enjoying this role great to be back you know we, we, working with Martin and all the staff and the players in the FEI you know everyone deserves great credit it was an effort from everyone and how do you um, how do you get Ireland to the, the next level then uh, football wise I mean what you've achieved is incredible but keeping the ball more and all the things that you've been asking for them to do uh, good question I don't know Practice. What about going to what about going to France next summer and the, the events that we've seen over the last uh, few days and the, the last yeah, year? Yeah. Is, uh, that, is that a concern? Sh shocking, yeah, but as soon as uh, if it's a few months away yet. Obviously, um, yeah, shocking scenes what we've seen the last few days and even you know we get carried away with football and there is more important things than football. Uh, 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 next uh, player of my Martin full up, you know that's shocking news with Martin last week and uh, but. We obviously had to focus on the games and, and get the job done. Um, but again, we, 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 I keep saying, I keep repeating myself, but we we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I get a sense, though, having met some fans last night, that there's an awful lot of people going to travel to support the team. Oh yeah, listen, yeah, of course, that, that, that goes without saying. Um, it'll be great, great for the fans as well, and 
Yes, it's a short trip for them, and um, you'd expect obviously 20, 30, 40, 50,000 to be travelling, as they always do. And uh, I, I think it'll be, uh, it'll be a better tournament with the Irish fans there. There's, there's no getting away from that. I think everyone would admit to that. Are you surprised overall at how well uh, this has gone for you? I mean, you did say when you came in first, you know, working for the FAI, it's something that you probably didn't think was going to happen in your career at one stage. I never say I'm working. I always feel I'm working with people. I don't think I'm working for Martin on the ELO or the FA. I'm working with them. That's a big difference, I think.